If you're a video creator, you understand that horizontal video is not the only way anymore. Because of social media, we have to also be ready to do square videos and vertical videos to fit the formats of the phones that we have today. And if you're a Final Cut Pro user, there's never really been a clear way to do this. Well, gone are those days. Apple has just released a new update for Final Cut Pro X and they have great social media tool integration and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. So let's get into it. Well, hey everyone, my name is Zach Sopak and I am a content creator living in Southern California and I wanna help you take your creativity to the next level. And part of that includes video and social media. Well, as I mentioned before, Final Cut Pro has just gotten an update, which is amazing. They don't happen that often, but when they do, they're normally pretty great. They've added a lot of really great tools, but the main thing that I wanna focus on today are their social media integrated ones. So in the past, you would have to do one project and you have to create a separate one and you would have to do custom sizing and it was never built into the system but now it integrates so smoothly that where you only have to do minimal work in order to get it to be not only your normal horizontal 16 by 9 format with just a click of a button Final Cut now puts it into either a square or vertical format for social media but instead of just talking about it I actually want to show you here on the computer so let's just hop in so the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that Final Cut is up to date and that you do the upgrade and you wanna be on version 10.4.9. That's where you'll get all the nice cool tools and integration that we're gonna be talking about today. I have opened up a project. This is my five lights under $50 video. I'm gonna link it if you wanna go check it out for yourself. And what we're gonna do is we're going to now take this and break it up into a video format of either square or vertical. Now I'm not gonna do the full video, but for social media, if I wanna just do a quick 15, 30 second, even a 60 second clip, or if I'm trying to do something for IGTV, this is gonna be an absolute game changer because like I said in the past, you had to create projects and do all this different work around stuff, but now Final Cut just has it built in. So let's check it out. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come up to my project, select it here, right click, and then you're gonna wanna hit duplicate project as. When you hit that, you're gonna be brought up with this new screen here. And what we're gonna do is we're going to first name this. I'm gonna make this vertical for Instagram stories. So I'm just gonna put a dash stories next to this. And then under video format, we have a lot of different options all the way up to 8K, which is crazy. But the ones that I wanna focus on are vertical and square. So now when you hit vertical, you're gonna have a couple of different options. First of all, the resolution. These are all a nine by 16 aspect ratio, which is vertical, which is ideal and optimized for social media stories and things of that nature, TikTok and the like. And you're gonna just select one of these. Um, I'm gonna go with 1080 by 1920. I'm gonna keep my frame rate right at 23.98 because that is what I shot it in. Rendering, color space, I'm keeping all that the same. The main thing here that we're gonna hit is the smart conform button. And what that's going to do is basically Final Cut's going to do its best job to conform all of your clips into such a way that it's going to fit best into the framing. Let's just check it out. So we're going to hit OK. And now you'll be able to see that Final Cut is analyzing the timeline clips. It's taking each individual one and it's going to align it as good as it can to make it make sense for that vertical format. And while we're waiting on that, I'll just mention if you get value out of this video, go ahead and add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. So now back to this, you'll notice it'll take a little bit of time. Depending on the length of your project, it may take a little bit or a lot of time. This one here is almost 12 minutes, so it's taking quite a bit of time to take the entire video to conform it down. Okay, so now Final Cut has done its work. What you're gonna notice also here in the left-hand corner under projects, we now have a new project that's created. So our old one, that's the 16 by nine normal widescreen format is still intact, but now we have a duplicate story. The one thing that I'll mention though is that this is not a perfect thing, at least right now. Not every clip is gonna be framed properly, just depending on how your composition is with your shot. 
a lot of the talking head stuff that I do is center weighted, so it's easy for the program to figure that out. But if something's off to one of the upper or lower thirds, it may not be able to do it as well. Same thing with text animations too. Text animations might fall off to the side, but there are some really great tools that help you to just get that stuff right back in order the way that you want it. So let's check out this clip where I was talking about switching out light bulbs for Edison bulbs in that video. And you can tell that the framing is not proper. It's not in the center. Now this could probably be because maybe I didn't frame up my shot properly or the computer program just didn't do as good of a job as I wanted it to. So now we gotta fix it. So how do we do that? Let's just click on our clip here. And if you're familiar with Final Cut Pro, then you know how to use the transform tool. We're gonna use that, but you'll notice something different about it. So we're gonna hit the box on our clip. And now there is this new little icon up here. So you can switch between showing the contents of the viewer and the full video image. So when we hit this, and we're gonna zoom out a little bit. So now we can see the entirety of the clip and we can decide what part of it we want to put inside of our new vertical frame. So this is a really helpful tool because otherwise you were just guessing before, but now you're able to see the full content and choose exactly where you want these things to end up. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna move the X axis over a little bit till I feel like it's in the center of the frame. And I'm gonna get rid of that view so I can just see what it looks like and turn transform off. And now we have a nice centered shot. So this is a very, very powerful and helpful tool that you can use to make sure that everything is in the right place once you convert it to that vertical format. Now let's do this one more time, but I'm gonna do it in a square format. Okay, so we're back to our project. I'm gonna right click, duplicate project as, and we're gonna drop it down to square, hit Smart Conform, and I'm gonna go 1080 by 1080. We're gonna name this one Dash Square. Hit OK. Now, you can see our project has been duplicated, and not only that, it's analyzing the timeline right now. So now I'm gonna let Final Cut do its thing, and then I'm gonna go back and reframe a few shots, and then we'll go ahead and export it. All right, looks good right here, everything's square. Notice that one shot is still off again, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna select it, we're gonna transform it. I'm gonna check it out to see where everything is. We're gonna drag it over to where it is now centered. Okay, so I've gone back to these clips and I've basically cut out everything except 30 seconds from that main video. And now we're gonna export it so that it's ready to go for social media. So you're gonna go up to one of your projects, you're going to right click and share project. I'm gonna hit export file. And under settings, we're gonna change our format to Apple devices. And I'm gonna keep mine for better quality and resolution 1080 by 1920. Hit next and we're going to put it on our desktop. Now let's do the same thing for our square video. Go over, right click and share project, export video. Settings, Apple devices, better quality, 1080 by 1080. And we're gonna save that one to the desktop. So now that the videos have exported, I've just simply airdropped them to my phone and now they're ready to post. So to show you what we got, we now have a square video and a video that's ready for stories. You can just see how this little tool right here absolutely changes the game when it comes to content delivery for creators just like us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you got some value out of it. If you did, please add some value right back to it by hitting that like button. And also consider subscribing to this channel for more regular content just like this. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that way you can get notified every single time I post a new video. Go update your final cut, have fun, post all around on the socials and all the things. My name is Zach Sopak. I will see you in the next video. Peace.